Welcome back. We all know that, in iOS 15, you can select your own wallpaper for the lock screen, whether it's an Apple supplied image, or one of your own photos, but, that's the extent of the customization allowed. You can still change wallpapers in iOS 16, but, there are much more options you can do with the lock screen. Want to know about it, then stick till the end, and those who are watching, make sure to subscribe for more tech updates. Let's begin. Your current lock screen wallpaper choices in iOS 15 are grouped into dynamic, still, and leave categories. iOS 16 immediately broadens those choices to different collections and colors. There's also an emoji category, which turns your lock screen into a swirl of different icons, as well as weather and astronomy options, that shows real-time conditions. The astronomy wallpaper will let you focus on the Earth, the Moon, or your current position in the solar system. If you prefer photos, you can still select those. iOS 16 will use onboard intelligence, in fact, to suggest photos stored on your camera, that are well suited to serve as backgrounds, on your lock screen. If iOS 16 suggestions don't tickle your fancy, you can always sort through your entire photo roll. The clock display remains a mainstay of the iOS 16 lock screen, only in iOS 16, you can put a little bit of your own stamp on it. Specifically, you're able to change the font and the color that clock appears in. In terms of font, you've got six different choices to pick from. Color gives you a virtual rainbow of choices with a slider, letting you adjust the opacity so that the clock is legible against the background wallpaper. In iOS 16, there are two places to deposit widgets. Right above the clock and right below it. There's space for one additional widget above the clock, where it fits with the day and date. The widgets beneath the clock are a little bit more detailed with activity rings from the new activity tracker in the health app and current alarms from clock, joining other common widgets like weather conditions, upcoming calendar appointments, and battery info for either your phone or your Apple Watch. In one of my favorite hidden iOS 16 features, you can also add widgets from the home app that let you control your smart home devices. You won't have to settle for just one lock screen in iOS 16. You can set up multiple options, switching between them, by pressing on the lock screen, and sorting through the carousel of different lock screens you've created. There's also a plus button for creating a new lock screen on the fly. This feature is more than just letting people change their wallpaper on a whim. You can also tie specific wallpapers to different focus modes. For instance, you might load up one lock screen with widgets and a wallpaper, tied to your job, that way, when you enable your work focus, it brings up widgets that are relevant to what you're working on. We'll know more details, including the ins and outs of setting up a customized lock screen, once the iOS 16 public beta arrives in July, and lock screen, figures to be the first iOS 16 feature, that most people check out when they download the software. Was this video useful? If yes, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. See you in the next video, until then, goodbye.